Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also, let's not forget about their new Star Wars TV shows, the new Star Wars movies that are currently in the works by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, without a doubt, when we look back at what happened, you know, with Episode Nine. A lot of fans had issues with what happened because of Kathleen Kennedy deleting out so many scenes and putting new ones in there. Obviously, a lot of fans were very upset with how the movie turned out to be when it came into theaters, and that's why there were far less repeat viewings in comparison to, let's say, for example, The Force Awakens or Rogue One, right? And that this movie did not even match the box office results of The Last Jedi. That really speaks volumes. That told us that this movie just was not as, I guess you could say, true to Star Wars as it should have been. And that was all because of Kathleen Kennedy at the end of the day. Now, everything related to the concept of Rey Skywalker, this was yet a very controversial moment at the very end of Episode Nine for two reasons. Reason number one, Rey just calls herself a Skywalker to honor the legacy of the Skywalkers. Some people loved it, some people hated it, that's fine. Now, the other thing was that is the title of the movie is all based on that one given moment for the most part. It also pertains to Ben Solo climbing out of the pit as a Skywalker again. I mean, that's one minor part of the title. But moving away from all of this, what's really in intriguing has to do with George and John Favreau, where with the Skywalker saga now over, both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new trilogy of movies as well as the new Star Wars universe. However, it's explained that currently both George Lucas and Jon Favreau are working on some major additions to the franchise that will evolve the brand. Now, it's noted that both Lucas and Favreau just ended the concept of Rey Skywalker from Episode 9 and are already set to establish an updated version of the character in the new universe. It's said that Favreau and Filoni will be ending the current concept of Rey Skywalker as well, and replacing the concept with a new version where Rey is going to be converted into a legitimate Skywalker by use of Ben Solo's spirit becoming a part of her at the very end of Episode 9 in a new canon for Rey. Not just that, but additionally also it's described that Favreau and Lucas are also on top of this, preparing to utilize the concept that Palpatine played a major role in transferring some form of DNA of the Skywalkers from Luke's severed hand and Anakin Skywalker's severed arm from Attack of the Clones and stored it and eventually used those parts of the Skywalker DNA to actually be used on his own son, eventually passing down to Rey, having somewhat of a Skywalker connection, if you will, before the Ben Solo spirit thing takes place. Now on top of this, all right, this is all established to have some Skywalker blood or DNA makeup for the character of Rey in the movies. Now to have actually this, you know, this is a very confusing moment because it's loosely based off of Star Wars Legends. Favreau is said to be basing this off of Star Wars Legends when Palpatine actually got Luke's severed hand. Favreau is also said to be hard at work with Lucas on establishing this as soon as mid-2021, and that Rey is said to have two children that will be considered Skywalkers, both Kira and Cade Skywalker. Now, Favreau's retcon is said to also establish that Ben Solo's spirit vanquished any kind of darkness or conflict that Rey had stored within her from her own bloodline, and that the Skywalker presence takes over the Palpatine one within her own body. Very interesting, I gotta say. Um, I'm not quite sure about the DNA thing. That to me sounds a little too overboard and unnecessary. I don't know if you guys disagree with me on this, but the DNA side of things, it just doesn't make all that much sense to me. It is kind of cool how they're trying to track back to Skywalker like limbs, if you will, or body parts that Palpatine actually stored and got a hold of. I mean, after all, that did happen in Star Wars Legends where he gets Luke's hand, but to my knowledge, they never did anything with Anakin's arm. So that's a very interesting change-up that Favreau is really trying to do in this new expanded universe. Beyond all of this, I must say, I think that the Ben Solo spirit combining with Rey's body is a very good concept. Uh, the fact that Favreau and Filoni and Lucas are all approaching that, 
I'm just not on board about the DNA stuff. To me, it just doesn't make all that much sense to have DNA and or blood transferred into the son of Palpatine, where Palpatine was attempting to make his son be as mighty as the Skywalker bloodline. That, to me, I'm not quite sure how I really feel about that. I would like to hear your input on all of this below in the comments. But like I've said before, the character of Rey, to me at least, always needed a little bit of work in the sequel trilogy, and it seems that Favreau realizes that, and he's trying his absolute best to really make things right for the Star Wars fans when it comes to that actual character at the very end of the Skywalker saga. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.